In today's episode, I'm going to show you a handy little feature that's built into the firmware of an Ender 2 Pro to make it easier to change filament. Right here on Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. In a previous video, I introduced the Ender 2 Pro, and I said it's a better printer for beginners because of its features. There's a very handy feature in the firmware for changing the filament. It's right here in the main menu called Change Filament. But before we use it, we have to set it up. So we go into Configuration and in Advanced Settings, and then scroll all the way down to Filament. Click on that, and then you can set the Unload and Load Distance. Now it maxes out at 200 millimeters. I wish it would go higher. So I'll set Unload to 200, then I'll set Load to 200. Just scroll it all the way up. Once I've got these set, now we need to save them. So let's go up a menu, and then one more. Go further up to Configuration, and now I'll scroll down to the bottom here and Store Settings. Click on that, you'll hear a beep, and that stores them in the EEPROM. Now we can go back to the main menu, click on Change Filament, and then we have to select the filament type. I'm going to use PLA here. And then it's going to preheat to the preset value, which is 200 degrees. Once it hits 200, then it says wait for filament unload. Now during filament unload, it'll turn and then it's actually going to push filament out of the nozzle just a little bit. You can see it down in the right hand corner here. Just a little bit is pushed out and now the filament will come easily out of the nozzle. So it's going to unload it. And after the 200 millimeters is unloaded, then you can manually move it the rest of the way. That's why I wish I could make the number bigger. But now you can just easily pull it out, and now there's no more filament in the printer. So now it wants me to load filament and then press the button. So I'm going to take some white filament now. I'll just cut it at an angle, and then I'm going to put this through the extruder and into the PTFE tubing. Now how far you go into the PTFE tubing is up to you. The further you go in, the more you're going to purge. So now I press the button, and this thing will start spinning and loading in the filament into the PTFE tubing. And eventually, once it's traveled the 200 millimeters or close to it, it's going to start purging filament out the nozzle. So as you can see here, we're close, so it's going to start purging out the nozzle. So depending on how much you pushed it in, it'll purge a little bit, could purge a lot. It will give you a chance to purge more. But you can see it's purging all the way through, and then eventually, once it hits the 200 millimeters, then it'll stop, and then it'll ask, do I want to purge any more? If I was still seeing red filament coming out, I might purge it again. It'll purge some more, but I didn't. It's pure white, so I'm going to click Continue, and now I'm ready to run a print. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or just click on that Chef logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time, right here at Filament Friday.